Today's topic, refined sugar. Hmm, that's sweet. So I'm here today in my new pink t-shirt and I'm ready to talk to you about refined sugar today. Controversial product. Um, let's first of all just define what is refined sugar. Well, sugar is a nutrient and if we have something like bananas that I have over here. This is a whole fruit. And in this fruit there are a lot of nutrients. Some we know about, some we probably don't know about. Some of the most common ones is sugar. There's sugar in here, carbohydrate. Uh, there's also uh, fat, there's also protein, there's also minerals, vitamins, fiber, water. Lots of different nutrients in there with the sugar. Here on the other hand we have sugar. That's it. Carbohydrate. Nothing else. No minerals, no fiber, no water, no fat, no protein. That's why we call sugar empty calories. Because if you consumed this instead of that, you would bo in both situations you would get your sugar, you get the carbohydrate, you get the calories. But in this case you wouldn't get any of the other good stuff. So you'd miss out and uh, you become deficient. It's a deficient product. Also, when you eat refined sugar, like I just poured a little bit of refined sugar into my mouth now, if I, if I were to eat a large amount of refined sugar, say I just literally poured the rest of this bag into a, into a big jug of water, added some water and just drank it like that, because there's a lack of fiber, because there's no fiber in here, that actually means that the sugar will go into my bloodstream faster than it should and cause like an insulin spike that's a little bit sharper than ideal. It can cause a little bit of blood sugar sort of imbalance by doing that. Whereas when I eat fruit, I'm getting that fiber, I'm getting it sort of, the, the, the sugar is diluted down by fiber and water in the fruit, which, which makes for a smooth, uh, healthy uh, blood sugar spike. So those two things are really the only, uh, negative things about refined sugar okay uh, there's people say oh it's a drug it's a drug no it's not a drug it's a nutrient <laughs> it's a nutrient but if you are to eat refined sugar for every bite of refined sugar that you eat you're missing out on what would have accompanied that sugar if you ate a fruit instead Right? You're missing out on that protein, you're missing out on those minerals, missing out on those uh, vitamins and everything. And also you're getting that blood sugar spike uh, just a little bit too sharp. That's all really. I don't see any other negative effects or downsides to sugar. Of course it's not a whole food. It's not, it's not food per se because it doesn't exist in this uh, dense, uh, refined state in nature, but it is nevertheless a food. For someone who's training, I mean, if you're out, you know, in a race or something, and you're consuming sugar water, uh, that, that blood sugar spike thing wouldn't really be that much of an issue because you're just going at such a high intensity that you're just consuming that on the go. Um, so it's actually fairly good as a race fuel because you're getting all the calories in, in a super easily digestible form. It's, a, it's readily absorbable, um, uh, but you're not getting all the fibers, which means that if you're in a long race or something, you can get your calories without the fiber, whatever. That's a, that's a rare scenario that you're in a race and that you need to consume that. Or even in training, I guess it could play an effect. I haven't personally experimented with using sugar uh, in training in that sense. Why do I have it though? Why do I have refined sugar around well because sometimes I have played around with putting it in the smoothie <laughs> you know uh, um, like some people do um, I want to see what it was like and I've been doing that a few times and I've noticed that you know I like it when, when whenever I have to eat bananas that are just somewhat unripe or if they're really poor quality they're not sweet at all then I'll just add a little bit of sugar and then they're just 
sweeter and it's just more enjoyable and actually if you think about it uh, I'm just adding in what would be there naturally anyway because ideally we humans we thrive on high density calorie dense fruits like if you're relying on watermelon if you're eating watermelon only you will not be able to eat enough calories if you're an active person and you need like three four thousand calories a day watermelon ain't gonna cut it you're, you're not gonna be able to eat enough and even if you did it's gonna be such an ordeal having to eat all that food so um, bananas are much closer to an ideal fruit in that sense because we we can actually um, get enough calories from a fairly small uh, meal you know it only takes about 10 bananas to give you a thousand calorie meal but if you were to try and consume a thousand calories of watermelon or strawberries that's gonna be pretty damn hard so if you can understand that and if you if you can dig that then we can agree that a calorie density of about 80 calories per hundred grams maybe up to about 120 calories per hundred grams is really ideal for an active healthy human being therefore if you're eating something like lower calorie and then adding in sugar to that you're essentially raising the calorie density there's more sugar in there just like some fruits have more sugar than other mammy sapote has more sugar than peach um, and no one would say oh my god you're eating mammy sapote it has so much sugar no it's it's per perfectly fine it has more sugar and that's that's fine it's a nutrient so in the same way you can add in refined sugar to your smoothies if you want to increase the density of that smoothie and get more calories in if you're a very active person sure you're missing out on some nutrients uh, on all of the nutrients in fact for each calorie you're getting from this but let's say you're consuming 3000 calories of healthy whole food and then you're adding in another 500 calories or so of uh, refined sugar that's not gonna really make that big a difference in the grand scheme of things you know so you gotta you gotta see things in perspective that's all for today I just want to sort of debunk that silly idea that sugar is a drug I mean sugar is a nutrient and we consume sugar and usually the people that say that sugar is a drug they'll still say that fruit is healthy right you know, fruit is good so if you agree that fruit is good and the sugar from fruit is good then you can't really say that there's anything wrong with refined sugar other than those two things that I said it goes into the bloodstream a little bit too fast and it does lack all of the nutrients <laughs> except sugar so you couldn't live on refined sugar but then again if, if you if you are on an unhealthy diet and you went on an all sugar diet like suppose you are eating the crappiest diet in the world and then you suddenly one day overnight you shift to a diet of only sugar you just pour sugar into water and drink make, drink sugar water all day long for like a couple of weeks if you did that you would probably feel healthier and your health would probably improve dramatically in that period uh, because it supplies your you know your calorie needs and you're getting those sugars and so you're, you got the fuel to do what you need to do you're on a low fat diet <laughs> on a no fat diet which is not recommendable of course but um, it's gonna you're gonna feel good for a while but then of course it's gonna catch up with you the fact that you're not getting those fats you're not getting those proteins you're not getting all the minerals and vitamins that's not sustainable long term that's not sustainable at all not healthy at all that's terrible <laughs> in a deficiency sense but it's a pretty clean diet you know it's not it's not full of lots of toxins and it's very easily digestible and that sort of thing so you got to see things in perspective um, I certainly don't recommend that people rely on refined sugar a lot but I don't see a big deal with it either I mean if you want to add some refined sugar to your smoothie because the bananas you're having are just like not that sweet or if you're uh, forced in, a, in one day you're forced to, to eat bananas that are slightly unripe and it's just you can add a little bit of sugar it taste a little bit sweeter yeah I can see that no big deal uh, if you're using sugar uh, as training fuel while you're out just you know easily digestible quick uh, low fiber 
type uh, fuel on a training run or ride or race or whatever yeah fine no no big deal i don't see you know some people recommend you take dates or raisins or whatever you soak them in water overnight and then next day you have this sugar water and then you drink that well why why don't you just drink pure sugar water instead oh well well if you soak dates and then drink the water you got some water that has a lot of other nutrients in it there as well right? it's not just sugar when you soak the dates other nutrients seep into the water as well so you're getting sugar with a little bit of added nutrients but do you really need is it so important for you to get that that one milligram of iron that seeps into it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things if your diet overall is a healthy whole food uh, plant-based diet and you're getting enough calories and you're eating a high calorie diet because if you're eating a very low calorie diet and half of your diet is refined sugar or something like that then you'd definitely be deficient but if you're eating like 4,000 calories a day and 500 of those come from refined sugar well three and a half thousand calories of fruit whole fruit is going to cover your nutrient needs easily uh, so if you're adding a little bit of empty calories on top of that that's not just not going to make that big a deal do i do that though i don't really do that i mean how much refined sugar do i eat <laughs> lately i mean it's been exp an experiment for the last three four months or something and i probably go through a kilo in like oh i don't know two months something like that i don't know i i just you know experiment a little bit adding like 20 grams of sugar to my smoothie now and then i have noticed actually interestingly that uh, when i do that it actually sort of takes away some of the flavor of the bananas like they go super sweet the smoothie becomes super duper sweet but it lacks some of that uh, width of taste that i get when i'm eating uh, just bananas but then again and usually my bananas are sweet like this these look really good i'm sure these are going to be super duper sweet no need to add sugar to that unless unless i wanted more calories into a smaller meal you know, right if i wanted to just make that meal really pack a lot of calories because i needed them after a workout i wanted to get that glycogen replenished quickly i wanted to be super high in sugar like i think fruit should be you know not super high but like an ideal range as i said between like 80 and 120 calories per 100 grams mostly carbohydrate that's like an ideal range and if i wanted to sort of create that fruit i could do that by adding sugar right it's sort of, it's sort of like creating a fruit because um, as I said, if you have something like peaches, something like melons that are a certain calorie level, and you have other fruits like bananas, cherimoyas, uh, super sweet mangoes that are higher in their cal calorie density, there's more sugar in them. And I've found that the more sugar it is in there, the better I function in my daily life. The, the, the more sugar it, uh, a fruit packs, the better punch it packs. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> the more sugar in a fruit, the better I feel digesting it and then my energy levels afterwards, my recovery, I just feel better eating those denser fruits. Some people say they like better the high water content fruit, the lower calorie fruits. I don't know, I mean, in my experience, I prefer higher calorie fruits. And you could use refined sugar as a tool then to sort of increase the calorie, the sugar density of your fruit meals somewhat. Anyway, ideally though, you should be eating just quality sweet ripe fruit that's all that's all sugar is not a drug sugar is a nutrient but it's in a refined form when you get it like that it's in a super refined form i have another one here which is this one this is like brown sugar and it sticks to the hair it's so sticky it's because it's full of molasses but again that's a little bit more nutritious there's a little bit more nutrients in there but uh, again, it's still pretty much empty, empty calories. So not a health, not a whole food, but then again, still a nutrient, not a drug. Share your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear them. I'm sure it's going to be a storm of controversy, <laughs> and that's fine. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good day. See you around.